Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of how I make lower thirds using elements from Invatu Elements, and then also getting those things to work in vMix and in OBS or with your presentation software. Yeah, let's just do them all. All right, let's go. Folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on the channel, we'll focus on tips, training, strategy, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking the link down below for that. So I've had a ton of people ask me about this and I just kind of wanted to walk you through the process because at the same time, I kind of guess I need to start making some new things for my media ministry and I might as well just show you how I actually do this as well too. All right. So I always talk about um, getting stuff from um, Invato Elements. That's a yearly subscription. Um, you can also buy these from videohive.net and that's a one-off. I like Elements because you can get as many as you want and it covers for the entire year and they give you licenses to use that. You can use it for commercial use, all this other stuff. So I use it for business. And then, hey, since I use it for my business, I can also use it for my church. So let me show you from the process um, how to get one or pick one. I might just pick one out of the blue and just um, show you so it's completely brand new. Now, another thing I will recommend um, for this, I use this with After Effects templates. So you need After Effects for this to work. Now you can always sign up for After Effects, uh, After Effects, and get a 30-day um, trial. Make all the lower thirds that you need. Make as many as you possibly can, and then cancel your subscription. That's one thing. Um, if money is tight, you can get After Effects for I think 19.99 a month or something like that. I mean, like I said, the first time I did it, I actually got the um, monthly subscription for 30 days, made everything I needed, and then canceled it. But then as my business needs grew, I actually subscribed to it. I actually have the full um, Adobe suite, um, even though I only use Photoshop and After Effects. So just letting you know, you do need that to do what I'm getting ready to do. All righty, folks. We are over here at Invato Elements, and we're gonna come up here to the top and just, just look for lower thirds. Now, let's make sure we look for video templates for this. And then we wanna make sure that, now, if you're using any other program like Final Cut, Apple Motion, Premiere Pro, you can find lower thirds that makes it work a lot easier. I don't use those. I don't even know them. So there's no, <laughs> currently don't even ask me to do a tutorial on that because yes, I have access to Premiere Pro, but I don't use it. I am a complete novice at that. Apple Motion and Final Cut, I don't have. So anyway, we're going to come over here to our applications, make sure we check off After Effects because I've done that the wrong way. I've bought one of these and then it was the complete wrong one. So I was not a happy camper. So most of the time you can come over here and mouse over these and they would give you a small little example of what these are and how these will work. I like this one because it's smooth. Now, there are other things you might want to check off too, like make sure no plugins are required. I've done that as well too. Most of the time, plugins, rarely are they free. You would have to pay for them. Um, so you might want to save yourself from actually buying something that you can't use or require you to buy something else. So we got these modern things. We got pop lower thirds these blocky ones uh not a big fan of because with the new version of davinci resolve you can actually make that yourself and not have to pay for nothing but the stylish lower third is huh, let's try let's look at that one all right so if we just play this here see what the they look like. And you got to think in your mind, what are you going to use to put this on here? Your pastor's name, your church logo, choir, anything like that. You want to see 
do they fit and do you also have the ability to change the um the color all right and this is taking a little bit longer to go through let's get to another one see what this one looks like all right you know what i like this one off top just because it's simple and i can visualize me using this for church or me using it me personally here all right so this is the one i'm going to get because i just like the simplicity of it and especially for my church i can use this with um that um crimson background color that we use and then names and things like that i like so let's go ahead and just confirm that no plugins are needed so let's go ahead and download that and give it a project. I'm going to call it my church because that's what I'm going to use it for. All right. So we got it downloaded. Let's move this out of the way. And then let's open up the file and what you get with it. All right. Real simple. It, sometimes it comes with a tutorial. Let's see what this is. Uh, go to the lower thirds folder, change. Okay, changing colors, cool. Changing duration. Simply press the I. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this. Well, actually, let me extract it first, and then we're gonna just open it right back up. All right, most of the time, this is an older file, so it's kind of off camera. You can't see it because um, I can't move the screen over, but maybe I can move this warning over. Right now, I'm saying this is an older version. It needs to upgrade to the current version that After Effects is. I'm just going to click OK. That takes a second. And then here is our stuff. All right, so we got a ton of lower thirds here to go through. Um, now, one thing with After Effects, because it is a horrible, has horrible memory management. So I got to be careful what I have open here. So I actually have Photoshop open. So I need to go ahead and close that right now. All righty. So let's um, first thing we need to do is now that I got all the other stuff closed, let's go in here and change this to auto. So hopefully that will help with our memory management a little bit better. All right, so let's scrub through here so we can see what type of lower thirds there are. Like, I like that one because I can put the church's name right there or title. That one is fine, but again, I know my pulpit, so we have a lot of white in the background, so I need something to stand out. That's why I like that colored bar. I like that. I might actually use that for the fifth. So that's four. Let's double click and open that one up. And then number one, I'm liking so far. And I'm just going to go through here and find the ones that I like. And the good thing is there's so many. So you can always come back and make a whole bunch more. That one isn't bad either. That's simple, straightforward. I like that one too because it really stands out and like I said this is this is awesome because you have so many pick from you know what? I like that because it has homes in it that 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 one right there so let's get that one I like that and all right, so that's all of them. So that was the preview. I kind of picked out the ones that I like. So we're going to go with this one. And it's really simple. I'm just going to come in here and just put in, um, I'll use me first off. So I'll say AJ Holmes. And then I'll say, you know, AJ the CEO, something like that. And then let's go over here and make one for church. So if this was my pastor, now he has a long name. So you got to be consistent with whatever you're going to do. So I'll just say James L. Sales. Let's see. Can we put Reverend Doctor in? Nah, see, that's too long. If I take out the punctuation, 
still. So this one wouldn't work for that name. And you guys got to play around with these. So I like this. Let's see. And as you can see, I am not an After Effects guru. I'm pretty much just typing on this template that's already been set in place. You know, might that might be too informal. I know some people are hard up on titles. Not that my pastor is, I'm just saying. So you got to be careful. All right, so as you can see. That may not work. I wish they had an abbreviation for <laughs> one of a Reverend Doctor or something like that. So I'm just going to go with this, even though I'm not going to use it because I want to put his whole title. So, so say we do something like this, all right? So let's go ahead now. Now that I got this, we're going to come up here to Compose. And we're going to add this to the media encoder. This one always works better than encoding in the program itself. All right, so we got our encoder. Give it a second. It'll populate. There it goes. I don't know why it does that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to encode this twice. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. One of these, I'm going to make a file to play. And you can tell we're going to have a transparent background here. Um, so black will work because I'm using the um, ATEM switchers. So I'm going to play this through some presentation software with a, back, a black background, and that will work. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to do this as a PNG, a bunch of images that are transparent. All right, so let's go ahead and change the location. Let's just put this on my shared drive so that both my computers can get it. And then uh, we'll just call it, uh, call it sales. All right, and then we're going to do the exact same thing for the location of the files of the slide, excuse me. So we just call the sales as well. All right. And then let's go ahead and render this. Hopefully this, sh I mean, this is a simple thing. It should not take very long. As long as, like I said, After Effects is, Wait a minute, does it actually render both of them at the same time? It looked like it almost did. All right. Okay, all right, we're done. So let's go ahead and save this because I'm going to come back and work on those. All right, so let's go to the file that we just made. And that was new folder. All right, so as you can see, it made a collection of images and it made this one video. So if we play it, let me bring it over here so you can see it. Boom, there you go. So it just does that. And then now the stinky thing about this, it doesn't fade out. So I don't like that, but I'll show you how to get around that. All right, so we have our two. So now let's go ahead and open up OBS. And what we're gonna do is let's make, all right, we got, we're gonna make a new scene here so we can just do collection here and I'll say tutorials. All right, so what we're gonna do is real simple, you could just, um, and I don't have a camera hooked up to this. Hold on, let me get a webcam. All right, so we got a webcam hooked up, so let's go ahead and first add that webcam. Yay, we got an image. All right, so 
I just I know this is a bad example. I gave away my um C920. All right, so we got this image here, and say we want to bring in this lower third. You know, how I would do this is we have this one scene, and then let's duplicate this scene again, and then we would add the lower third. So you have a couple of options. You could do, let's do the video one first. We're gonna do add a media source. And you don't want this to loop. You want to close it when it's inactive. Show nothing when playback ends, which just hard cuts the end. Let's turn that off for right now. And let's go ahead and add the video that we just did. All right. So the way this will work, see, it plays immediately once we switch to that scene. So let's fix this first. Let's get rid. Let's put a color key on it to get rid of the black. Oh, not color correction, color key. Select our color. Pick from the scene. Or oh, I could have just picked black. And boom, there we go. So the idea is, and let's go back, is every time we hit the scene, it's going to restart. So if I go back here, say, boom, hey, blah, 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 blah. Now I hit the scene, which is exactly the same, but the only difference is it has that um, lower third there. We just click it and then boom, there we go. Look how nice and professional that is. That was really easy, all right? Now let's try the same thing again, but let's see what we can do with that image sequence. And it pretty much works the exact same way. So, but instead of media source, we're going to add an image slideshow. I'll just call it that. And transition, do we want to loop? No. Now let's add our images. Going to add a directory, which I think would be easier. All right. Plays even when not visible. No, stop when not visible, restart when visible. Yep. Now, delay between slides. We're going to play around with that. I would set the transition to cut, change the between time to 50, and then change the transition speed to zero to get a fluid movement between the images. Now, that's an OBS. Now, let's cut over to... Um, vmix and show you how that will work all right so now we're over here in vmix and we're going to do the exact same thing we're just going to come over here to add input and this one works a lot better new folder i'm going to add our lower third then boom we would just have it like this. And then when we cut over to it, see it just plays. Very straightforward. And then to do all the color keys and things like that, we would come in, color key, pick our color. It's gonna be black. And let me move my camera over here so you can see how it works. Let's close this. Let's add another input here and let's add our camera. Alrighty. So let's cut that over. And to do this in OBS, I mean, not in OBS, <laughs> to do this in vMix, you have to do this as an overlay. Um, so we're going to key that color out there. All right. So there you go. Now you can always change the size of this on both of them. So that was, you know, yeah, you had to dial it in a little bit. All right, so let's turn the loop off and then we're done with that. Now let's do it a different way with the images, which is how I use it in my live streams. We're gonna go to a image sequence because it's already built in. So yay, as you can see here, are all of mine that I've already used. We're gonna go to that same thing, pick the first file. Boom, it's got it. Then we just do okay. And it's loading the sequence. And now, the same way, we got to do it as a um, overlay, but we don't have to do the color correction or color keying or anything like that. We just hit one, 
and boom, there it goes. Perfectly removed, nothing else needs to be done. All right, and that's all you really need to do. I know I went the long way about it, but I kind of like want to show you the whole process. Um, that way, if anybody has any questions, you saw exactly what I did for each one. Works with OBS, works with vMix, works a lot easier with vMix. Um, less stuff that you have to do with it because it already, already has a image sequencer built in but that could add some dynamics to what you're doing which is really awesome now let me make sure that i didn't miss something here oh i didn't do it through a program so yay let's go ahead and do that and i'm gonna do this through my atem anyway so y'all can see what you would do it now when you're with your presentation software the honestly, the best way I feel to do this is just to play it as a video and it'll work the same way. So I have the input screen number two from my from Worship Extreme is going to go into my switching software. All right, I'm here in Worship Extreme, and how you would do this is let's just make a new cue list. And then I'll just say tutorial. And what we're going to do is add our media. We're going to import that file that we just made. And I'm doing this from the video. All right. So we got this here. We're just going to add this to our queue list. And if I come over here and play it, let me move this over here so y'all can see it. I'm going to turn our monitor on. Then we're going to play it. Boom. There we go. Now, that is obviously what's coming into the ATEM. Solid um, background is black, everything like that. So now, this is going to be interesting to do <laughs> while I have all this running. I'm going to bring over my ATEM stuff and I'm using it right now to do my DVE. So I got to turn that off. So I won't be here. <laughs> um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do our downstream keyer and we're going to pick our input from the PC as well as the PC for um, doing this. So right now, if I switch over back to me, now back to me, <laughs> anyway, I come over here and now I'm going to do the downstream keyer. Boom. Now it's going to keep looping that. I wouldn't want to do that, but I'm looping it for an example. Because the ATEM, and let me turn this off so you can see what I'm doing here. So in the ATEM, what is what it's doing? It is looking at the source, looking for the, um, the background to what to keep, and then it's looking for what's going to fill. So it's sending this whole image here, and then everywhere where there is black, it is going to be erased. That's what natively the DSK does. So if I switch over here, and I'm wondering if I can do both of these at the same time, and then I do the downstream here, Oh, but duh, AJ, you can't do it that way. You need to have a full screen. So, oh, <laughs> I got picture, picture. I got too much stuff going on. But as you can see, by me playing this through Worship Extreme, I can have the same thing. So if you were doing any type of presentation software, I do this the same way at my church. If we cut over here, you can have your lower thirds for everybody in your ministry, and you can just queue them up appropriately, and then you can pick them, whoever you want, and just maybe have a folder here and just call it, I don't know, lower thirds or titles, whatever you want to call it. And then, you know, as the day goes on, you know who's going to be preaching, whoever's going to be a part of the uh in your service that day, you can just load up those particular people, especially if you're using a free version, you can only load but so many things, um, items in your queue list, but you can bring them on and then, hey, you, especially if you're using the ATEM, 
Um, or you can do this with Pro Presenter, Easy Worship, all of them. I've done used we currently use Pro Presenter at our church, so we do it the exact same way. Um, as well as in Easy Worship. That's what we used before. We did it that way. So all the programs can work because you're literally just playing a video and then keying out the color. You could do that with the um, images as well, too. It's just easier to do it with the video that way. So that was a whole lot more disorganized than I normally wouldn't do my videos. But hopefully you got something out of that. I put timestamps down below so you can always jump to which one that I did. So you could... That's how I make lower thirds using the items in Envato Elements. Um, and it's good because when I bought it from there, I can use them over and over and over again. And you won't get hit for anything because you have a license to use it for the entirety of how long you use it. Um, so, yeah, so that's really cool. I need to go make some more of these uh, and you can start loading these and doing them live. And it makes it easier because I always add these in post. So I need to do some more of these anyway. But if you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, and again, my apologies for shotgunning all over the place. <laughs> I was just trying to do this on the fly because um, somebody asked about it. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I want to thank the patrons for making this video possible. Their name's on the screen right now. And you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. Or you can become a YouTube member by clicking the join button down below. And no matter which way you pick, folks, you are helping us transform and train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video. Later.